Who's down with ISO? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with digitally brightening up your frame? That's my party. ISO stands for International Standardization of Organization. Not like you really need to know that to adjust your image, but I didn't know what it meant and I was curious. ISO is a measurement on your camera that will control how sensitive your sensor will be to light. When you bring your ISO down, you're gonna darken your image, and when you bring your ISO up, you're gonna brighten your image. ISO will easily allow you to brighten up your image, but I would always strive for bringing in more lights, maybe a bounce card, maybe some natural light you can figure out through a window before boosting your ISO. But if you need that boost of light, you have your ISO right there for you. On the back of your camera, you're gonna see the letters ISO with a number after it. That is your ISO setting. Again, like aperture and shutter speed, most cameras do have a dial that will allow you to move your ISO in one direction or the other. So be sure to look on your camera and find out where that dial is so you can kind of manage all three of your settings. So ISO, you go higher, it gets brighter, you go lower, it gets darker, but there is a caveat. The higher ISO number that you go, you may get digital noise, you may get grain in your image, and you may get snow. So that's when you get little artifacts or little like little dots on your image or little grain on your image because you're digitally enhancing and digitally brighting up your image. From my experience, I never really try to bring my ISO higher than 800 at max 1600 because I have a Sony a7 III. These cameras do work well with a high ISO, but still I've had cameras in the past that I've taken my ISO to 1600 or plus and I've gotten this grain after looking on it on a computer. So be careful because that grain isn't really super pleasing to the eye and you really want a nice clean image, especially when you're telling a story. So uh, do your best to try to keep your ISO kind of around 800 if you can or lower. A lot of cameras today do have bigger sensors so it allows you to go to a higher ISO without getting that digital grain. So if you don't really know and it's a new camera to you, I would just go to kind of in a dimly lit room. I would play with your ISO setting and see where that grain starts really coming in strong. And then uh, I would probably never go to that when you're shooting. Unless you're trying to create a desired effect or something. Um, which, you know, it's your creative storytelling. You never know what you're gonna try to do. Um, but if you're trying to get a nice, clean story, I would just try to keep your ISO where you, you have a nice, clean frame and image without the digital grain and noise. So just kind of gauge on what you need it for, but keep in mind that, uh, you know, the higher ISO you go, the more digital grain you get, which will affect your final image. So if you haven't watched the Aperture or Shutter Speed video yet, you're gonna wanna watch it to kind of get a grasp of everything that's going on. Be sure to watch this next video where I talk about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed and how I bring it all together on the day of the shoot. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.